<laughs> Hello, it's Lance from the Outcast Creative doing a review uh, really late uh, for a play that I've just seen. And um, so let me just give you a bit of background here. Guys and Dolls uh, as a show is the first show I ever saw in London. I was um, probably about 12, 12 years old when I first saw Guys and Dolls. I saw it at the National um, Theatre Production with Imelda Staunton and Bob Hoskins. And I was hooked. It was my favourite show from then on. I went back to see it uh, twice more. I saw it with Bernard Griffiths, um, late Bernard Griffiths, God rest his soul. Uh, BAFTA, leaving him out. Very bad. Out of the uh, memoriam there. Um, and then I saw it again at the National for the 1997 production with Clive Rowe as Nicely Nicely Johnson. I saw it on the second from last night. And um, Clive Rowe did 11 encores for that song, 11. And he, he lost his voice. His voice just went after the 11th one. And he was like, I can't do any more. Um, so, I mean, Guys and Dolls is a, is a classic um, Broadway musical. It's also been made into a film with Frank Sinatra and Marlon Brando. You can check out that version. It's available all over the place. Uh, but this is the first version I've seen since the Nationals production at the London Bridge Theatre, uh, directed by Nicholas Heitner tonight. That completely blew me away um, on so many levels. Uh, the first thing I've got to say is total props to the stage management and production team of this production. The people all dressed in black with the headsets, and your uh, swing cast, a lot of whom were dressed as policemen, who did crowd management <clears throat> for this production. Why did they have to do crowd management? Well, because this production of Guys and Dolls is immersive. And by that, I mean it's immersive in the sense that you can buy a ticket, you can be on the stage with the cast right next to them, and various different parts of the stage raise um, to platforms at different times. I've never seen a show like it. The rehearsal and um, stage management skill to pull that off as slickly as they did. And I've never seen a production as slick as this ever, ever. And I go to the theatre a lot. Um, I've directed 12 plays um, and, um, you know, I I've seen some really great plays in my time. I've seen some mediocre plays. I've seen some terrible plays. This production just took it to another level. That 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 stage management team, the backstage people, um, the people doing crowd control, my credit to you all. What an amazing job you did. Marshalling and wrangling uh, the audience, about three, four hundred of them were probably down there um, on the actual stage. I was sitting a couple of rows back. I was still very close to the actors, had a fantastic view of everything. Um, so let's talk about the production a bit. OK. Um, the cast. Wow. What a cast. Um, I would not have put Daniel Mays to play Nathan Detroit as an actor, but you know, um, he was perfectly suited to the role. Um, but the cast were absolutely outstanding. Um, so this is the cast in the bridge production. <clears throat> it's literally just open. It opened on the 4th of March. So it's only been on for a few days. And to say that it's only been on for a few days and it was this good already, uh, my credit to the entire team from the cast right through to people backstage, to the director, um, the orchestra, everything was so on point. And it had an amazing energy. I mean, the, the um, energy between the cast, the, um, the chemistry between uh, Marisha Wallace, who plays Miss Adelaide, and Daniel Mays, um, who plays Nathan Detroit. By the way, loving the moody black uh, black and white headshot there, uh, Daniel. I do like black and white headshots. You don't see them much anymore. Everybody sends me colour ones now. Um, the chemistry between the two of them was absolutely outstanding. I mean, it was incredible. Um, and they really were um, fantastic. I want to give a shout out to a few other people in the cast just before I talk about the production a bit more. But I'm just going to say it. Straight off the bat, okay, I'm giving this production five stars out of five. Um, five stars out of five, no question. Um, it really is 
um, just incredible. You know, it's just incredible. And um, I, I just, the, the, the productions at, at the National have been so good. There's been other productions in the West End. Um, and they've never they've never lived up to the two national productions that I've seen. Um, and when I got in and I saw how many members of the audience were wandering about on the stage, I was thinking, how is this production going to work? There's about 400 people on the stage. I don't see any set. How is this going to work? I was, um, you know, completely um, uh, wondering what was going to happen there. And um, but they pulled it off. I mean, they pulled it off um, incredibly so. Uh, I want to just, before I actually talk about the cast, let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So um, I, I was a little bit naughty. I took a couple of pictures, not during the production. By the way, there was loads of people filming on their phones during the production, guys. I mean, that's really not cool. Uh, there was a lot of people doing that. I got a couple of stills before the show started and at the end. And this is the cast rightly giving the orchestra and the stage management team a big shout out, which is so lovely of them. Look how many people are on the floor. So that's a raised area. And that area comes up and comes down throughout the production. Um, <clears throat> and it was the coordination. So these guys and girls who are all dressed as the police here. They, they coordinate and wrangle the audience as and when these different areas raise up and become Adelaide's hot box or they become the, um, uh, the, the the mission church and so on. Now, like I said, I've seen Guys and Dolls about 30 times. I've seen about 10 or 12 different productions of it. And I have never seen a production that's, that, that has pulled it off in not only a fresh and original way, but just such an inclusive way. You really felt part of it. It was just it was just outstanding. I mean, I can't say enough nice things about it, really. Um, if I've got any criticisms, criticisms of it, they would be really minor. So, uh, you know, and I'd be struggling um, to think of them. Um, there's me and Maggie outside the show um, afterwards. And we were, we, we, we were talking to all kinds of random people about what they thought of the show. Now, this is in the interval, <coughs> this great kind of barbershop quartet came up and they very cleverly performed different parts of their song and they did renditions of, they did sort of barber qu uh, shop quartet renditions of songs from the show and they cleverly rotated themselves round as they were performing. The stage wasn't rotating, they were rotating. Um, really incredible. I, I just was blown away. This is how many people were in the auditorium before the show started and I was just thinking, yeah, okay, we've got some hanging lights and this is all very groovy, but how is this going to work? And it does. It just does work. It's fantastic. Um, so I just want to go back to, to talking about the cast quickly. But basically, look, I don't want to make this review too long, um, but uh, my, my word on this is you should go and see it. You should book tickets now. If you want to be kind of immersive, you should dress up and have fun. There are some times when the cast will interact with you. It's very cleverly managed. Um, but, uh, you know, put on your trilby hat and get down there, put your spats on, get down there. I'm definitely going to go and see it again. So I talked about Daniel Mays. I talked about, uh, Marisha Wallace. Uh, forgive me if I'm pronouncing uh, that name incorrectly. I want to mention, um, Celine, um, Shoemaker who played Sarah, which is a straight role. It's kind of the more boring role to play. She was fantastic. Really good. What a voice. Um, and, um, let me talk about my favourite role um, in the show. Where is the, where is the man? Where is he? Um, I've just started following him on Twitter. He's here somewhere. Um, Cedric Neal. There we go. <coughs> Cedric Neal um, played nicely, nicely Johnson. He was incredible. Really good energy. Fantastic performance. I mean, all of the cast, including the swings and the um, the ensemble, were just brilliant. The um, the Hotbox girls were great, really fantastic job. They had a fantastic energy. And do you know what? Part of the fun of the show, I'll tell you this, part of the fun of the show, which made the show really unique for me, was watching the reactions of the audience members who were really close up to the cast that were interacting with them while I was watching the show. 
So you kind of had a performance going on on two levels. You've got the performance of the cast and then you've got the reaction and the energy of the audience that you're also privy to seeing because they're lit with the cast. And actually, I found that really fascinating um, to see their responses. And then, of course, you had people singing along. And, yeah, I've never seen Guys and Dolls done like this. I know I've got quite a big American fan base on my subscribers. I think it's highly unlikely that this will not go to New York um, and end up on Broadway, um, this production. I'm almost certain that it will. Um, I tagged a few of the... Um, uh, cast uh, in a Twitter post just to let them know I was doing uh, this review. Um, and there's a friend of mine, our own. Nice of you to pop in. Um, just, guys, you did Damon Runyon proud on this one. I mean, you know, I'm just so blown away by it. Um, I, I, it's rare I come back from the theatre and I'm this juiced. Um, you know, Guys and Dolls is a favourite show of mine. I've seen it twice in the West End, and both times I'm like, yeah, it was, yeah, it was all right. It wasn't as good as the National. It was all right. This is different, and this is um a different experience as well. It's a different experience. It's um semi immersive theatre, not for everybody, but you know, if you're if you're in the and you're you're only three or four rows back, so you're going to be close. You're going to have a good view wherever you sit. And I love this about the Bridge Productions. They're they're really well staged and they're really well directed. I've seen five shows there. Four of them have been brilliant. Um, one was the play was not my cup of tea. It was all right. Um, but, you know, Line the Witch in the Wardrobe, absolutely fantastic uh, production. Straight Line Crazy, I really enjoyed. Danny Webb's a good friend of mine. So um, it was fantastic to see him have such a meaty role um, to have fun with in that. I've now seen Guys and Dolls there. Um, I saw, um, oh, I forget the name. Another show not that long ago. Um, they've all been great. So the bridge, you have done it. Um, be proud of yourself. I would have been really critical of this play if I had not liked it. And I'm so glad that I was able to come back and do a gut reaction review where I cannot praise the production highly enough. It's five stars out of five from me. If you've always wanted to see Guys and Dolls but you've never seen it, this is the version to go and see. If you want to be up close to the actors, get an immersive ticket. If you don't want to be on your, your feet for two and a half hours, which you may well not want to be, don't forget you'll be standing for all of that time, then get a, get a ticket in the in the, the seats and the stalls. But this is a really good, solid show with outstanding performances from an amazing cast that have got fantastic chemistry. Um, the singing is top quality. I just loved it. My friend who came with me loved it. Everyone I spoke to in the theatre loved it because I always like talking to randoms to see what people think, and I highly recommend it. Um, so congratulations to The Bridge and all of the cast. That's Guys and Dolls. It's on at The Bridge Theatre, I think, until May. Um, booking until... Maybe I should just tell you before I sign off. Uh, it's booking at least until June. So it's booking into June. So you've got, you've got some time, but I think this one is going to be sold out most nights. Uh, it's, so I really do recommend you try and go and see it as soon as possible. Uh, that's all from me, guys. That's Guys and Dolls on at the Bridge Theatre. Do go and check it out. It is just fantastic.